All right, let's look at the system with row one or the equation one is going to be 3x minus 2y equals 14 and line two is negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 11. The first thing we want to do is make certain that both of these equations are in standard form. Standard form has both variables on the left the constant on the right, and A, B, and C are integers. Integers are like the positive counting numbers, the negative counting numbers, and zero. So A, B, and C could be any of those numbers, those are integers. And we do have standard form, that's wonderful. So we're going to put our system in an augmented matrix. Augmented. Matrix. And the augmented part is the matrix of coefficients, which is called D. is augmented by the matrix of constants, which is B. Okay, great. So we've got our matrix, nice empty matrix. And I'm gonna remember that this dashed line represents the equals. So I want to get the coefficient of x in line 1, the coefficient, the number in front, of y in line 1, and the constant will go on the other side of this dashed line. And instead of calling it line 1, we're now going to call it row 1. Row 2 will be negative 2, 3, negative 11. And we have a very regimented uh, set of instructions. We have to get d11 equals 1, d21 equals 0, d22 equals 1, d12 equals 0. So we're going First row, first column, second row, first column, second row, second column, and first row, second column. So we're going this way. All right, so to get our first goal, to get D11 to equal 1, we can work with anything in column 1. Row 1 and column 1 go together. So we've got a 3, a negative 2, and we want, the goal is to get a 1. So I'm going to put equals 1. And notice that here it's it's kind of easy. If I add, if I add 3 and negative 2, I do get 1. Well, the 3 came from row 1, The negative 2 came from row 2, and the answer is going in row 1. That's the place that we want the new one. All right, let's write that down then. We've got row 1, row 2, new row 1.
And row one is three, negative two, 14. Row two, is 2, negative 2, 3, negative 11. Negative 2, 3, negative 11. And the command says add them. Just add them straight up. 3 plus negative 2 is 1. That was our goal, so this is very good. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 14 plus negative 11 is 3. So our new matrix, after this command, we have a new row 1, which is 1, 1, 3. And row 2 is still negative 2, 3, negative 11. Yay, we did the first thing. So let's check that off. Yay. Our second thing we want to do is get a zero. And we want to get a zero in the second row, first column. Let's see what's there right now. Second row, second row, okay. Second row, first column. Right now we have a negative two. I'm gonna write that down. Negative two, our goal is zero. So what can I add to negative 2 to get 0? Exactly right. Exactly right. Now, we're in column 1. That means that this number is multiplied by row 1. Because we're in column 1. So our command is going to be 2 times row 1 plus row 2 gives us a new row 2 because row 2 is where we want that 0. Well, let's work this one out. Let's see, we've got row 1, 2 times row 1. row 2, and then you row 2, and row 1 is 1, 1, 3, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is still 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Row 2 is negative 2, 3, negative 11, and we are adding rows 2 and 3 because that's what the command said to do. It said add 2 times row 1 to row 2. So, okay, we can do that. 2 plus negative 2? Yes, good, 0. 2 plus 3, excellent. 6 plus negative 11. So our new row 2 is 0, 5, negative 5. Let's put this down here. Our new row 2 is 0, 5, negative 5. Row 1 is still 1, 1, 3. We did the second thing. Yay! Let's mark it off. We made the second row, first column entry a 0. Now we want to make second row, second column entry a 1. Let's go there. So let's see. 
second row, that's going to be the red row, second row, second column, those were the Y coefficients. And I can see right now, D22 is equal to 5. I want 1. And after we have a little bit of flexibility getting that first one, we no longer have as much flexibility. So the main way I can get a 1 here is by multiplying 5 by 1 over 5. And if I multiply 5 by 1 over 5, I have to multiply everything in row 2 by 1 over 5. So 1 over 5 times row 2 will give us a new row 2. And we don't need to do this on a separate piece of paper because we can multiply in our heads. So let's see. 0 divided by 5, still 0. 5 divided by 5 was 1. That was our goal, so very good. Negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. Awesome. We still have 1, 1, 3 in row 1. So we just did the third step. Our last thing is to make the first row, second column equal to zero. Set, okay, so zeros, that's the one where I write down the number and I make it equation to equal zero. That was interesting. The computerized voice that comes on, S-E-R-I, thought that I asked for music, which I didn't. Y'all heard me. Anyway, so we've got the matrix 1, 1, 3, 0, 1, negative 1. We want to make D2, D1, 2, first row, second column. We want to make it a 0. 0, that's where I write down the number I have currently. What we did before when we had a negative 2, is we wrote down negative 2, and we want to see what can we add to negative 2 to get 0, and it was 2 before. We were in column 1 before, so I multiplied that 2 by row 1. Column 1, row 1. Well, now we've got a 1 in this D, 1, 2, first row, second column. And I want to see what can I add to that to get 0. Exactly right, we can add negative 1. This time I'm in column 2, so I'm going to multiply this negative 2 by row 2. So negative 1 times row 2 plus row 1 gives us a new row one. Let's do that. So we have row two, negative one times row two, row one, and then new row. is row 2 right now. Uh, there it is. 0, 1, negative 1. Then 0, 1, negative 1. And we want to multiply everything in that row by negative 1. So let's see. Negative 1 times 0 stays 0. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 negative 1 times negative 1. Two negatives make a positive. 1 times 1 is positive 1. Okay. Row 2 is 1, 1, 3. And we are adding 
negative 1 times R2 to R1. So we're going to add right, right down here. So 0 plus 1, 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That was our goal. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So our new row 1 is 1, 0, 4. Zero, four, and we still have row two is zero, one, negative one, okay, I don't know what's going on with my computer. So now we're finished, and let's just reflect on how we started. We put all of the x coefficients in column 1. We put the y coefficients in column 2. This dashed line was the equals, and the numbers on the right side were the answers, the constants. So let's write this first equation. We have 1 times x plus 0 times 1 equals 4. What is 0 times y, though? Exactly right. It's always 0. And 1 times x. Can I just write x? So I get x equals 4. The second line, let's see, we've got 0 times x plus 1 times y equals negative 1. 0 times x is always 0, so we get, where did we put the x? We, we, here's the x, and we get that y equals negative 1. So the solution is the point. 4 comma negative 1 and now with matrices since we didn't use any equation by itself we have to check in both originals but we're good for that so let's see equation 1 is 3x minus 2y equals 14, 3x minus 2y, we have a 14, and we said that x was 4 and y was negative 1, because so we're testing the point for negative 1. What is 3 times 4? Yes, exactly. And negative 2 times negative 1? Good. And we do get 14. Yay. All right. Now let's use line 2 to check. So we've got negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 11. Negative 2 plus 3, negative 11. And we're putting in 4 for x and negative 1 for y. Two, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. We get negative 11. Yay! Okay, so that checks. And that's it. That's solving one matrix, one system of equations using matrices.